Psychologically exhausting nightmarish movies are some of my favorite and today I wanted to bring five of my favorites to you. Well technically, I'm not like showing you the movie, I'm just telling you to go watch the movie. When someone asks me, hey, do you know of a movie that could like really mess me up for a few hours and kind of ruin my life momentarily? These are the ones that I first tell them. Also, this is a spoiler free video so you can watch the whole thing and not know a thing about the movie technically. I'm just telling you the tip of the iceberg to these movies, okay? So without further ado, here is the first one. Not only is this one of my favorite mind-bending horror movies, this is one of my favorite horror movies of all time, and I talk about it any chance that I get, and that is the film The Dark and the Wicked. It follows a brother and sister who are now adults that must return to their childhood farm. Well, they're returning because their dad is deathly sick and is actually about to pass away. So they come to like see him to help their mom take care of him and all that stuff. Well, when they get there, they pretty soon find out that there is something wrong with this farm, with the land, with their parents, with everyone surrounding the area. Something is off. Now, this film does have a mind bendy twist at the end of it, but that is not why I actually included it on this list. This has such a dark, heavy, depressed, just no hope feeling. It gives me a little bit of the same feeling as A24's Hereditary. Uh, just kind of like no hope, gloom. Um, you kind of leave a little depressed. Your energy has just been like slammed to the ground. It's kind of like that. So if you don't like movies like this, I definitely do not recommend The Dark and the Wicked. But if you do, this is right up your alley. But with The Dark and the Wicked, you truly get immersed into the film with them and it is an experience that I will never forget. This came out um, kind of, I think it was like at the beginning of the pandemic and one of my local theaters showed it and I had no idea what it was about. I didn't look up the plot, I didn't watch a trailer, I didn't do anything, but the poster caught my attention and I told my husband, I was like, we need to go see it. So we put on our masks as it was before anything shut down and we were actually the only ones in the theater. And when I tell you, I have never had an experience in a movie theater that was that intense. I was so scared. So I watched that, you know, in the theater and I left and I was like, I wonder if it would be that scary outside of that, you know, situation. Because I was in a mildly rundown theater. No one else was in there, you know, big dark room. So I got home and I watched it because it was streaming on Shutter, and it was just as scary. So this is just a scary movie. It doesn't matter where, when or where you watch it, like it's going to scare you. But I will say an ideal situation is in total darkness. If you have a projector, fire it up and put it on your wall. Uh, if not, just get cozy in your bed and put it on your TV or watch it on your phone because it's great no matter what. The second movie I want to talk about is Incident in a Ghost Land. Now you've probably heard about this movie. It went on Netflix and kind of blew up on TikTok I saw just people watching it for the first time and kind of freaking out because it does have one of those plot twists where you're like, oh my god. So maybe you've seen this one. But if you haven't, here's a little bit about it. So this mom and two daughters inherit, honestly, my dream house. So they're driving to get to this house. They move in. It's their first night and they suffer one of the most intensely terrifying break-ins that I have seen on a movie. So that happens. Um, the girls grow up. One moves away for work and then comes back one day and figures out that some stuff is still really not right in that house that they still live in. They being her sister and her mom. That is actually all I can say about this one without spoiling literally everything. But this is one of the most thrown off the track feelings that I have had in a movie ever. So if you like feeling like you've just been tossed into the wall, watch this one. Now I do want to give a little warning on this one. Um, it's nothing like graphic, but there are some things in there that are really uncomfortable, um, especially if you have certain things that really bother you like I do. And I don't know how to describe it without giving, okay. Um, the people that break in are just like a little too friendly with the little girls. Um, it's nothing like graphic, like I said, but it just made me so uncomfortable that I could literally not watch it again. I have watched that once and I can't revisit it. Now, this is a film that I honestly do not recommend everyone watch. This is for a very specific type of horror fan and yeah, it's graphic, it's gory, it is hopeless. You will feel horrible after watching this movie or at least anyone I've ever talked to that has does including myself and of course we're going to be talking all about the 2008 French film Martyrs. 
Now, Martyrs follows a girl who brings her friend along with her as she goes on a quest for revenge. She had something horrible happen to her as a child and she ends up finding the family who did it and yeah. So after she gets her revenge, things start to unravel and us and the characters are trying to figure out what in the world is going on. And when we as the audience figure out what is going on, we are left digging at the floors trying to crawl our way out of this plot because, oh my god. Now if you follow me on TikTok, and I'm also going to post this clip on TikTok, so hey, um, you've definitely heard me talk about this before. It is, it is an incredible movie. Like, despite all of the like horrible imagery in it, just like absolutely worst case scenario things. It is one of the most well done movies that I have ever seen in my life. Now I know there is an American remake and apparently I haven't seen it. Um, it's a little bit less gory and intense. So if you want to see the movie and not really see all of that, you can go check that one out. But um, I mean, if you do okay with gore, I would even, even if you do good with gore, I would still go in with caution. Now I will say to give you some comparison, um, if you've seen the film, The Sadness, that one affected me worse than Martyrs um, by a lot. Uh, but I can also, I like gore. It's not that I can't tolerate gore. I love the Terrifier films, but I don't know if I could watch those like as much as I do without the comedic relief from art. Keep all this in mind, go into it and just be gentle with yourself and watch something happy afterwards. But I think Martyrs is streaming on Tubi. I think it's been there for years. Um, as far as I know, it's still there. Next up for mind-bending scary movies, I want to talk about the film Brightwood, which actually came out last year. Brightwood centers around a couple who decide to go for a run. Well, let me rephrase that. The wife decides to go for a run and the husband follows because he has really messed up lately and she's had enough. So he follows her on this run to try and talk himself out of the hole that he's dug. So as they're going for this run in the park nearby their house, they notice that they are seemingly running in circles. Something is going on and we are just thrown on this wild chase and we are confused just like they are. The final film is one that I guarantee you've seen, but it is one of my all-time favorite movies and I wanted to include it. And you can't really talk about mind-bending scary movies without mentioning Barbarian. So at the start of Barbarian, you see a woman arriving at her Airbnb out of town and the key's missing. She can't get in, but what she does notice through the window is there is a man that is already staying in this home. So he opens the door. They figure out what's going on. They use two different sites to book this house and they accidentally like double booked and she goes into the house with this man. And I know what you're thinking. Why would you do that? But the man was in fact Bill Skarsgård and I can say without a shadow of a doubt I probably would have knocked him down trying to get into that house. So I get it. I get it. But she gets in there and we're starting to be like, oh, okay, it's going to be, you know, one of those like women worst case scenario, you know, movies. And I mean, it is a worst case scenario, but maybe not quite the one you're thinking. This movie's plot twist was incredible. And the way they marketed it, it was just so cool because you thought you were going in and you were just, you know, watching this one thing, but you were not you were not in fact watching this one thing i remember i went opening not to see this um in my local theater and people were screaming i mean it was chaos in that room and i was also yeah i was i was thrown i was my flabbers gasted anyways those are five of my favorite mind bendy scary movies they're not my top ones by any means they're just five random ones that i picked and i would love to do a part two to this because these movies are the best um there are a few cheesy ones so maybe when i do part two i'll do like a cheesier list like of cheesy movies but um yeah, these are the ones that are pretty scary. Um, this is day one of my 30 days of consistent uploads. I have never successfully done that on YouTube, but I have everything planned out this time and I think we're gonna be okay and good to go. So I will see you guys tomorrow, which is so exciting to say. Um, yeah, bye.